Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rat here from Rat with Art and this is going to be Sagittarius Moon, Sagittarius um, Sun and Sagittarius Rising. Uh, weekly tarot reading for September and Lenormand one for September uh, 10 to September 16, 2018. So while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you that this is a, a general reading for the star sign of Sagittarius. It is not your personal reading, therefore uh, I will explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the positions they fall but it is up to you to make a sense of them and to align them to your personal situation if you want me to uh, make that sense and to align them to your personal situation then you go for a personal reading uh, and to do so all that you need is uh, really my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find the full list of my services as well as the pricings of them so that being said Going to the tarot card spread first, now we have a four position card spread. The first position is uh, regarding the topic of Sagittarius this week. The second position is about the um, core of the situation. Third position regards to the challenges Sagittarius has to face for the duration of this week. And then we do have the guidance for the week from tarot, which is, you know, in some cases the best course of action. So let's see what you Sagittarius has here. We do have the Hierophant as a topic of the week so that will be a, a very usual week. Why? Because the, the Hierophant it is a about the um, I don't want to say the natural unfoldment but the ordinary flow that the week is gonna go under. So this week will be most likely uh, related to conversations it is most likely going to be re uh, related as well to the uh, to deliberations just so you can uh, kind of like define how your undertakings are moving on forward it is very likely as well to um how can i place it it is very likely as well for you to kind of like a find out a either a new hobby of your behalf or a, a new activity in general which makes you uh, not exactly feel happy but which occupies your time and makes it quite interesting because the hierophant card is about fulfilling ourselves with the uh with the activities enterprises and undertakings which are meant for us to do furthermore moving into the future as the hierophant is connected to our beliefs therefore as a topic we are going to do what we believe it, it is meant for us to do rather than what we have to do the Hierophant as well is related to trust in certain cases especially uh, connected to the relationships and when it comes to relationship this card points it is likely that that week we are going to build up the trust that relation that this that relationship we do have right now may lack and through that trust laid down as a foundation of our relationship either friendship you know or romantic one or a co-working one as well in general relationships all right uh we are going to um kind of define a a new um we're going to place a, a new definition of connection with that person so we're going to find out a additional reason why we are connected to that person either love wise or either you know friendship wise co-worker relationship wise etc etc uh, the hierophant as well it's um, in a broad scheme of things or in the wider scheme of things it kind of preaches that we are going to uh, be shared with either a good or uh, bad fortune and under sharing I mean that uh, people will approach us you know they may ask for our opinion here and there um, <clears throat> they may share their emotions either good or bad emotions as well and uh, we will have to kind of like not exactly guide them you know but share our opinion how we how we would have proceed on forward so this week is going to be uh, Sagittarius is about you establishing um, how can I say, solid patterns in your life regarding your activities and regarding your undertakings as well. Uh, and when it comes to career, uh, that card uh, asks you to be, um, to not look at the matter from a, a monetary perspective, but rather look from the, uh, um, 
look at the matter to, uh, from a, an interesting perspective. So when you involve yourself into something here, it shouldn't be about money, it should be about a, a personal interest or how interesting that activity is. So do the job for the job's sakes, not for the money's sakes. And the core of the situation of that will be the Nine of Swords. So what we do have here is the realization that we have to take a responsibility for our previous actions and for our previous words as well, you know. Um, maybe about uh, maybe regards about a uh, promises we have given to certain people or to ourselves as well you know that could be a, a promise that we are going to change ourselves this year the higher fund the change of belief that like I told you you know establishing a different pattern here and that could be for example we have found out that we uh, has to be more fit out there that's why uh, it, we are establishing a certain regime of uh, nutrition or a certain regime of a workout as well you know uh, we are starting to live more healthy here or if we are uh, at work for example this could um, signifies that we are realizing that our situation or the project we are working at it is very serious project and we have to be more careful with it therefore we kind of like lead those meaningful conversations at these deliberations as well regarding the best possible strategy moving on forward knowing that every single action of ours will will has its consequences and that's why we may find ourselves rather af afraid of making the wrong steps over there or it could be as well you know I I'm giving I'm trying to give you the different ways of manifestations here of these two cards or we may uh, realize that we are quite replaceable when it comes to our relationship if we are not careful how we treat our partner therefore we kind of change the way we treat our partner and we treat them with a, a greater respect here and so we can uh, kind of um, develop a, a bigger trust from their behalf toward us. So the manifestations are um, quite broad as I, told, uh, as I showed you here. These are just first three that came into my mind. But uh, in general these cards are about changing our system of beliefs uh, regarding a certain things and our approach toward it knowing that if we don't we are going to lose it. And then we do have the uh, challenges that we have to overcome. That will be the high priestess. So we may not be agree with ourselves. This is about ourselves here, right? Uh, we may think that, you know, we are kind of like bending personal rules, personal criteria, uh, and um, in general personal standpoints here. We may find it very difficult, for example, you know, to submit uh, and to... Um, uh, well, I forgot the word. <laughs> anyway, the, yeah, to submit that we are uh, that we are guilty of a certain actions in the past. You know, we may uh, find it very difficult as well to keep our mouth shut because the high priestess is about silence and coming up as a challenge. It could be challenging to remain silent here and just to listen what we um, just to listen to the other party. Sometimes it is all that we have to do. You know, just listen and uh, that will make our problems simply vanishes but uh, in the grand scheme of things this card points that for you Sagittarius may be very difficult to tap into your inner voice and to tap into your intuition and that's why the Hierophant here suggests you this just to stick to the code of conduit just to stick to the ordinary ways of how things are done you know you want to be with someone well first start dating with these people don't or with that person don't just try to push and force the things um forward same goes with your career before you ask for a promotion you first have to prove that you are worthy for that specific promotion you know uh, <clears throat> and um the high priest is also uh, for those who are single especially it could be very despondent here because uh, when it comes to challenge the high priestess points that you will remain single for the duration of that week and one week isn't they a big um, a big period of time you know a long period of time but also the high priestess for those who are single is a very positive sign because saying the next person you're going to meet is going to be someone of a high value so it's going to be a high value target 
So let's see what the guidance is going to be for you here. We have the Page of Wands and you have to remind yourself of your personal strengths here. You need to realize, you know, that there is more than one way to look at something. And before you decide what to do, you have to consider all points of view. As I said, you have to listen, all right? Because you may see the situation in purple. Your your boyfriend or a girlfriend may see it in blue, you know. Uh, the other people who are involved into that situation may see it in green. So you have to consider all points of view before you decide what to do furthermore because your actions will bear consequences and on top of that you need to kind of like have these theoretical um, explanations of your approach you know and the liberation of the best course of action so that particular week for you just to summarize that Sagittarius that particular week is going to be rather weak of uh, inactivity here more um, more leaning to figuring out the best way of how you can um, fix things um, if there are any things you know that needs fixing in your life everybody has things which needs fixing in your life and uh, just to kind of like reassure you that it is not as bad as may sound you know uh, you don't have to even put a, a great work behind it, you know, you just need to kind of like enter into the frame of how the things are done, you know, you don't have to be brilliant, you don't have to be um, mind-blowing as well, just do what it is supposed to do uh, and, and things are going to solve on its own accord. So let's see now what the Lenormand has to say as an, an event that will happen that week and uh, event with which you should either look forward to or you should try to avoid let me shuffle Alright, so we do have the uh, whip and the broom, which speaks for conflict, competition, disagreements as well. Then we do have the sight, and the sight doesn't have a specific meaning, the sight cuts the next card which sits on its right, so it traverses it. And we do have the moon, which is about fame and it is about recognition, so uh, a conflict and disputes are going to sap a recognition and fame of your behalf for some reason so if you don't do that or in other words you know a conflict will put you into a, a bad position it will make you look bad so uh, fortunately for you this is one of the events these cards predict which is very avoidable so whatever you do in this week um, Sagittarius is Try to maintain your silence here and don't enter into disputes because those disputes are going to, as I said, sap and deprive you from um, your grace, should I say that way. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 10 to September 16, 2018. And again, this is a general reading for the star sign. It is not your personal reading. Therefore, these cards, uh, I can I explain to you the meaning of these cards into combinations but it is up to you to make sense of them and to align them by aligning them to your personal situation if you want me to align them to uh, cards to your personal situation you know and to make sense of them uh, then you go for a personal reading and all that you need to know about it is listed down below in the description of this video which is my website and there you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricing so that being said see you next time guys Rat signing out now bye